Okay, today we're going to be changing the screen on my HP DV67029WM. Um, unfortunately, the cable got closed in the screen, so this crack needs to be replaced. So, first thing we want to do is you're going to open it up. Tools you're going to need obviously, you're not going to need the MP3 player. Screwdrivers, obviously small ones, something plastic to pry, to pry with. I also have a card just in case, possibly may need to use this, depending on how tight it's on there. Okay. Right, I'm going to open it up. Now what I've done already is remove the sticker that's across here. So keep in mind, HP does put a sticker. It's kind of a way to protect their warranty. And it does make it look very ugly after it's off. But the screws throughout, four screws in there, holding it together. So go ahead and take a small Phillips head. Okay, the screws are all removed. We need to start working on opening it. So we're going to start at the top and work our way around, prying it open. Just be careful not to separate any of the wires around here in the camera wire and toward the bottom for the Beats audio. See, it's actually pretty easy to separate. As you go around, it comes right apart. Um, you gotta be careful too because it's actually stuck. It sticks to the LCD screen. It's made like that to hold it in better. So as you go around, so be careful not to break any tabs. Left it right out. Easy enough. Now again, four screws holding these put this part on. So we can go ahead and get those out. Careful not to lose them. Kind of keep them separate because you want the same size in there. Okay, the screws are out. Pull the screen out. Just be careful when you're pulling it away. Just got some stuff stuck in the back. You got the webcam stuck on it. And you also have the wire that's actually plugged in, the one you're going to want to separate. Tape it on there to hold it in place. Just want to pull the tape off. Pop just pop it out. Voila. Okay, now you have your display out. To put it back in, same process. Just go through it quick, flip it around, put it right back in. Alright, part two of the video. We're going to reinstall the screen. There's a new screen which left back in about two days from Washington to New York. Excellent. This excellent shipping time through a USPS mail. And there's the screen still disassembled. That's on left. Open the 
shitter. Very well protected. Excellent protection on it. Great job of doing that. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it in now. Take the tape off first thing you do. Move the tape with that little cover in front. Okay. It's nice and tight in there. Still a little sticky from previously before. So I'm just going to mount it in. Make sure it lines up nicely. they got little guides. Guides up on top to help it in place. So I'm just stick that right on there. Press to lay it down. Drop it right on. Okay, it's in place. Everything's in place. So we grab our screwdriver and our screws. Once those are all screwed in, you make sure the alignment is okay. You don't want to pinch the wires. Make sure there's a nice free play in there. Then we'll start reconnecting the mount with the frame. Press it down over the wires first to make sure those are in. And start working your way around. any dust particles are getting under the screen just to back it up before you do anything with it. Bottom's not on yet. Okay. So the hair you pull it out. Couple more screws and we're all done. Put the H 
to be set up. But that can't cost too much. You'll probably find it somewhere online. Amazon, eBay. Or you can get a custom sticker if you want to trace it and cut it out properly. Screw it on nice and tight. And then one more screw just behind here. That's the final one. And screw it nice and tight. That's the new screen. I've had one before with pics and little uh, discolorations, but this one's perfect.